Hey guys, this is Shin Kaigen, and this is another one of my solo queue tips. Now, if you're looking to climb the Vainglory ladder, pay very close attention to this tip. You will have to play more than one hero. Shocking, I know, right? If you were playing with a team, that might be a different story, but in solo queue, you are not guaranteed to get the role or the hero that you want. Now, it doesn't, even, it doesn't matter if you're the best SA NA. Not every comp is going to need a SA. You especially don't want to be this guy. Hmm, so we have a jungle and a lane. Uh, support sounds like it'd be good, but you know what? Screw these noobs. I'm gonna go play SA. <laughs> Ugh, why am I always stuck with these stupid noobs? When is the SMC ever gonna fix ranked? Yeah, no one likes playing with that guy. Now, I know it seems unfair at times that you're forced to go play support or something, but sometimes you just gotta take the high road. Plus, learning how to play different characters across the three roles will allow you to understand the game a lot better and pick up on the little nuances that make each role unique. There's a lot of things you need to know about being a lane carry, a jungle carry, and a support, and playing each one will help you learn about what you and your teammates need to do in order to have a successful game. So what I recommend is learn at least two different heroes for each role. If you are picking heroes for a carry position, make sure that you know how to play a weapon power and a crystal power hero so you can fill for whatever damage type your team needs. Having the flexibility of picking the opposite damage type makes it harder for your opponents to counter your team. Bonus points if you can learn to play your hero in more than one way, such as support versus carry Arden, or weapon power versus crystal power Vox. Shown here is an example of a good selection of heroes to have, because it will literally cover every situation that might arise. You can do lane, jungle, or roam, while also picking weapon power or crystal power. This also has you covered in the event that someone picks a hero that you're familiar with. So remember, be flexible in hero select. It will not only make you a better all-around player and increase your knowledge about the game, but it has the added bonus of making you rage slightly less when that guy interlocks in Saw. By the way, if you are the guy that interlocks in Saw, make sure to stay until the end of the video for a special message. Anyhow, I hope this video helps you with your climb up the Vainglory ladder. I'll see you guys next time. Just...